I'm Willie Dubbs, and this is the Divergent Report. The series where we take a critical look at products targeted at the neurodivergent. And we ask the three important questions. One, does it do what they say it will do? Two, is there value or bang for the buck? And three, would I work for them and be comfortable representing their products? And on this episode of the Divergent Report, we take a look at calm strips. I am someone who is ADHD, which is ADHD and autistic, so the review will be looked at through the eyes of someone like myself. Calm strips are a sensory tool in the form of reusable stickers that can be used to reduce stress and anxiety and and then there's a set that can be used for breathing exercises and such let's head out to me on the street willie when i first heard of calm strips it was on one of those dragon shark shows my neurodivergent diagnosis was still pretty fresh so my autistic justice gauge was on high alert so when i found out calm strips was a company that made stickers for autistic people ding 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 come on stickers that's what i that's what i thought initially because i'm very skeptical but calm strips stuck with me because they seemed like genuinely good people so i thought to myself why would genuinely good people be selling autistic people stickers good people don't do that and believe me i can tell i know when someone's not genuine and they were genuine then on my morning meditation walk calm strips snuck back into my mind just as i was fidgeting with the collection of receipts rolled up in my pocket and then i thought back to little billy wilson sitting at his desk and tracing my finger over the carved out design in the top of my desk and the calmness i remember that bringing and i thought to myself stickers can make anything a sensory tool maybe these calm strips people were onto something after all so i reached out to calm strips for some freebies because i'm a poor neurodivergent person who can't keep a job and before i get into the review i would like to say something about the response time and something i really appreciated about the way they got back to me because they just didn't say yes they took the time to watch videos and content of mine and let me know that they enjoyed it and that it it is a good fit and sure while this communication and sending me free product shows me what type of company they are it will not affect my review of the actual product in any way but it will score some points in the last category that's for sure let's get to the first category does it do what they say it will do like all sensory tools this will depend on personal preference but if you're someone who likes textured things and i say try it out if you don't then obviously you won't like that find a different fidget device you notice i said device because it's not a toy I'm not playing. Calm strips come in many textures. I'm not going to get into that because, again, that's personal preference. I prefer the rougher River Rocks one, but we'll get into that more in the final report. I'm not going to go over the names and the textures of each one because you can go to the website for that. Calm strips, just type that. Now let's get to the second category value or bang for your buck. This is where I thought Calm strips was going to fall short for me. Because they're stickers, I thought. <laughs> These should be so much cheaper, but they're good quality stickers and they've lasted and they work the same as they did in the beginning. And and I haven't lost this, which is very surprising. This has lasted longer than any of my sensory tools and it was the same price. So I can't argue about the values there. Stickers for 20 bucks is a great value. I can't believe I'm saying that. The proof is here. I still have this thing. These are the same stickers. I took them off about 25 times just to test the, you know, reusableness. And I didn't follow any of the directions. If you actually clean the surface, you'll probably get 100 times. I did 25. I was satisfied with that. So I stopped because I was annoyed by doing it. So if you need more than 25 times, I would just make sure you wash the surface first because I didn't. And it's still got 25 dirty sticks. And finally, the most important category, would I work for calm strips and back their product? You see, very few companies meet my needs when it comes to shared values and ethics. But from the info I've gathered on calm strips and the people involved, 
I believe Comstrips is a company I could get behind. And this is not something I thought I'd say about a company that makes stickers for autistic people. Let's head back inside to me, Willie Dubs, for the final report. Comstrips are sensory tools in the form of stickers, and they work exactly like sensory tools do. The value is there, and they seem like a company with good intentions. Comstrips gets a perfect score of three willies. And I know what you're thinking. Just three willies? That's not very many. But believe me, very few companies will receive three willies. Now let's get on to what I liked about it and what my dream strip might look like. The breathing exercise and pattern tracing type stickers I use less, but I think that's just because I'm someone who moves around a lot and doesn't like sticking things to, to my to my stuff. Although these are very good stickers and do not leave a residue, I tested, believe me, because I hate residue. I just like the things in my pocket to feel like the things in my pocket. However, I do have the breathing exercise square one stuck to my desk in my dark room for when, when I have meltdowns. I do often use that to keep my brain busy while I regulate myself. So again, works as intended. I know as a kid, I would have used it on my desk for sure. But this bar has become part of my pocket. I can't leave the house without this anymore. I love this thing. It slides in my little jean pocket. You know that little jean pocket there for like your lighter or whatever you do with it. I just take it out of my pocket and I just press away the stress. See, it's a good solid steel, so you can't bend it. So you can really get the stress out. I couldn't call myself neurodivergent if I didn't have at least some suggestions on how maybe to improve or make my dream product. I love colors and patterns and stuff, but I don't want my fidget tool to stand out. At least not in this way. So a nice combo of black and maybe slate gray on a nice black steel bar, you know? I just think it'd be pretty sexy, I'm just saying. I also would prefer it if I didn't have this little hole in the bar for the keychain hooky thing. Now I know people use it for that, but for me, this bar is my thing. I want this to be beautiful. And as I mentioned outside, I like a rougher surface. Now that I've taken the time to learn how I would use comm strips in this bar, I know now that I also would need a pivot point for smoother execution of fidget bar tricks. Now I've gone ahead and done a quick little mock-up here uh, on a design I call Little Billy's Black Suede Bumpy Bubbles. You can see the pattern allows for, for perfect pivot, but also adds a little thickness to the feel of the bar without adding a huge amount of weight and a rougher, more engaging surface. And as I mentioned before, has a beautiful, stealthy appearance. Go to comstrips dot something or other. Just just type comstrips and it's not hard. You know that. I didn't think anyone was going to get three willies. The Divergent Report has been brought to you by Open Circuit TV.